folks, what we are set out to do today has never been done before. There were only two objects like this into our inner solar system. There was one eye, one interstellar, Oumuamua, pretty elongated object, very small in terms of the width. It almost looks like a Saturn V rocket. So that increased our curiosity when we saw our first interstellar object, which doesn't look like a comet. The second one, the Borisov 2i, 2 interstellar, it looks like almost like a comet. It looks like the usual rock that has some coma coming out of that rock. What we are now looking at is the 3 interstellar, which just found in July. And they named it as 3A Atlas. This was never been done before. This is a backyard telescope. And I wanted to try looking at this 3i interstellar uh, comet, probably once in a lifetime opportunity for us. I wanted to show you this object coming from almost much older than the sun, billions of years old. This was never done before. I do wanted to caution you that I may not be able to succeed. So let me give it a try. So I am inside now. I wanted to see the first picture I took and I wanted to solve the image. What this will do is it will tell the software where the picture was taken. And now I could try to locate if I see any asteroids or comets. And yeah, there are three of them. I see NHA, I believe that's a comet, I mean asteroid. This is also looks like an asteroid symbols. So th this is how asteroids are. They have no, they have names, but some numbers to whoever found them, I guess. No asteroid. No, no atlas. So I have a theory, right? Either all these data points that I was collecting was wrong, or my telescope cannot take picture of these interstellar comet. It may be so faint, it can't do it. So the moment that faint came in my head, I was thinking, when I was asking for tools, when I was asking for asteroids and comets, I remember seeing something about magnitude. What this is, is it is going to tell how faint objects that you're asking it to detect. Then I said, maybe this is limiting me. Why don't I go up to like 25, right? Doesn't matter. And then voila. That's my comp, comp, 3i atlas. It's history, guys. We are looking at interstellar comet on our computer. You can see how tiny this object that we are talking about is. This is the one that we are talking about. And this one goes up like this, okay? So you can see that. And I'm going to put my cursor there so you can start noticing. This is the interstellar object traveling billions of miles away from our solar system walked into our solar system, running at a speed that the sun cannot even catch. And we are looking that on our camera. One day, we are going to take a better picture of it. But at this moment, this is way too low in terms of the brightness, but we are still able to capture. Thank you folks for watching this. And if you are interested in more of these videos, uh, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. I will have more updates and more better pictures. Thank you everyone. Have a good night.
Clear skies.